Figures. You're too nice, Chris. Other people would leave. Sinclair, I'm here with the car service. Oh, I'm so sorry, I'd lost track of time. Yes, I'm ready. Do you have any luggage I can take into the car while you walk up? Of course. That's it for me, thank you. Are you ready, ma'am? As ready as I'll ever be, I suppose. So, where are we headed, ma'am? 1501 Northwest 67th Court. Well, okay then. 
then let's get going, shall we? All comfy back there? It's a nice house. Yes, and full of memories. Almost seven decades worth. A whole lifetime. You must remember the little park across the street. It had this beautiful little gazebo and the most gorgeous trees. I have such wonderful memories of that park. That's where my husband proposed to me. You know, ma'am, we, we can stop by there. It's not that far out of the way. Oh, that would be wonderful. Oh, it's been such a long time. You're a very nice young man. Have you heard the expression, the eyes are the windows to the soul? Well, they invented that phrase for my Thomas. He was always a very stoic man, but his eyes, he said everything. How I love them. You remind me of him. Same eyes. Uh, thanks. You guys sound like you were very much in love. We were very much so. The wedding was all planned. But... Europe was at war, and before we could get everything together, so were we. The father was kind enough to pencil us in, especially once he found out Thomas had enlisted. Did he join the army? Of course he did. We got married, he went to war, and I went to work. I even wore trousers. <laughs> Regular Rosie, huh? I could definitely do it. <laughs> but it was hard. Four years apart, never knowing if I would ever see him alive again. Always wondering, picturing the worst. Trying to fill every minute of every day so that your brain doesn't have the chance to convince you your loved one is dead. The day he came home. The day he came back to me. Whole and healthy and alive. He would have come home here, yes? Yes, he did. I forgot that the station was so close to the park. It's amazing how much life can happen in such a small area. That day was the most emotional I had ever seen him. Within months, he had a job and, and we bought the house. And a year later, our Connor was born. Our baby boy. The most beautiful thing I'd ever created. My greatest accomplishment. I... Can we drive by the old theater? It's not too far, is it? Oh, no, not at all. We lost him when he was four. Not long after we'd taken our first family photograph together. My soul withered that day. 
Nothing was ever the same after that. Thomas and I grew apart, and the light went out of his eyes. When Connor's death broke him, he would stare at the photograph as if staring might bring him back. I lost it one day while I was cleaning. And I lost him. Thank you for taking me down memory lane. You are a very nice young man. Sweetheart? Yeah, we're here. I have something for you. No, ma'am. It's all right. No, you don't understand, Thomas. I found it. When I was packing for the trip, I found it. I never thought I'd see it again. What have you found, dear? Thomas, I'm sorry. I lost it. I'm so sorry. I... I just want the light back, Thomas. Please. I think you should keep it, dear. Thank you.